light ball is for extra insects uh, later on become fish food and it should have plenty of oxygen coming in uh, coming into the fish tank living area going back looking up is where the air pump is the air pump is a, a lift a lifter, uh, 60 liter per minute, uh, 110 volt pump that is connected to a battery backup inverter combo. So in case of uh, emergency uh, power outage, uh, it will kick in uh, by itself. MP Electronic is the one that makes uh, this. A thousand watt, definitely over overrated, but um, we have uh, other application for that. And this thing is disconnected. We need to connect it back on. And now it's charging. The water flow in. Has this. Um, uh, trap that the water is actually stuck on on the bottom side into this um, uh, center pipe and then tee off to the side and that's a, a basic swirl filter and the swirl filter is nothing but a barrel with a center pipe let's go over here take a look With a center pipe right in the middle and this thing is swirl pretty slowly. Water is flowing from the swirl filter goes into these two nursery tank. Right now has no fish in there. And the nursery tank it's again determined by this uh, water level elbow trap. And that flows out to a union, to a T, and goes outside into this corner. And then it's fed out to the growth bed. Right now we have uh, eight growth bed right now with uh, two um, um, ebb and flow with the center. Uh, bell siphon and then six just floating rafts and we still need adjusting right now the water level is going to be this high and we're going to cover with um, uh, a plastic material so it prevents sunlight from turning the screen into algae infested water so, still slightly in disarray, but we'll get it to work soon enough. <clears throat> and then the water with the, <clears throat> the siphons <clears throat> just drains into the bottom. There's a siphon <clears throat> and a catcher, and then just goes back to the drain, where it's airlifted into the into the fish tank and hence complete the cycle.